Welcome to the Disconnect Internal Guide. In this video, we will teach you how to use Disconnect. First, navigate over to the Disconnect page. Click the Buy Now button. Click the Buy Now button once again. It should prompt you with the payment method gateway. There are two methods. You can pay in Bitcoin or through Stripe. Once you choose your payment method, press the Continue button. Enter your email and Discord name. Please provide your Discord tag. Your email must be included as this is how you will receive your product. Now, once you have purchased the product, you will receive an email from Disconnect's sales page. Do not share this information with anyone else as you are responsible for your key. Go to the email and press Access Content. If it doesn't work, then there is a link below to copy and paste. Once you have your key, open a ticket and request access to the internal user channel, where you can download and read the latest announcements on the software. Now that you have access to the internal content, press the link to download the Rust X file. You may want to check the news page in the future to do so. This will fix blue screening, but this is a temporary fix, so always check the news page. Once you have downloaded it, press Open Folder, and the File Explorer will pop up. Open Steam, navigate to the library page on Steam and find Rust. Right-click on Rust, click Manage, and click Browse Local Files. A folder should pop up. This is your game files now. Drag the downloaded RustX into the folder and continue to the next step. Now that you are ready to go, you will not need to do this process again unless the developers of Disconnect update the process. Now that you have your USB and have transferred both files to the USB drive, navigate to the Task Manager. This is very important. In Task Manager, click the Performance tab. In the bottom right-hand corner, you should see Virtualization. This feature must be disabled as it is enabled by default when you buy a PC. To do this, check your motherboard manufacturer's BIOS and go to the CPU tab. For Intel CPUs, look for the VMX option. For AMD users, look for the SVM mode. Ensure that it is disabled. Once you have disabled virtualization, exit or minimize Task Manager. Now, run the setup. XE file first and then run the loader. You will need to do this every time your PC restarts. When you run the loader, it will prompt you for a login. Enter the key that you received in your email. Press the Access button, and you can also select Remember Key, which is recommended so you won't need to enter the key again the next time you launch the loader. Now, press the Load button, and a message box will appear. Go to the bottom right of the screen and click the arrow. Ensure that both Steam and Rust are closed before proceeding. If either program is running, right-click its icon and click the Exit button. Now, press the OK button. Another prompt will appear asking whether you want to use hardware ID spoofing. If you have had game bans in the past, it is recommended to use this option. However, do not use this feature if you already have another spoofer loaded, as it may cause problems with your PC. Now, unplug your USB. Open Steam and follow the next instructions. Enjoy using the Disconnect software. Your purchase helps contribute to the development of the software, and you can enjoy ruining other players' days.